Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about the WWE Figs Cruiserweight Championship. Whenever I think of this belt, funny thing is, I actually think of the last Cruiserweight Champion, which was Hornswoggle. Don't get me wrong, there's a lot of better champions out there like Matt Hardy, Rey Mysterio, JB Noble. The list goes on and on for great Cruiserweight Champions. Uh, I actually always liked the Cruiserweight belt. I thought it was treated poorly in WWE, but I always thoroughly enjoyed this championship um i like the championship scrambles they they did a lot of cool things with this title but in the end it was definitely mistreated but um the reason why this is a figs multiple reasons uh the main reason is this is a really hard belt to find wwe never made it themselves they never did an official remake of the title like they did for most of their other Retro titles, uh, this title was always just strictly figs, figs only. Um, hopefully one day in the near future they do remake it, but the way they treated the Cruiserweight division with the 205 reboot, I'm going to go out on a limb and say we will never see a WWE shop version of this belt. But again, I did say this in my short, I will say it again. These autographs I'm pretty sure are fake. I have Rey Mysterio's autograph. And that nine just looks really weird to me. Looks like he tried to scribble another one out. This is a secondhand belt. None of these autographs are mine. I don't even know what that one says. That one's clearly Jamie Noble. This one kind of does look legit, but it is really hard to tell. Um, he tried to charge me more for autographs. I personally think one or two autographs, yeah, they might hold value if they were a tag team or something like that. But when you get a whole bunch of tag, a whole bunch of autographs on one title, it more becomes a um, a personal collection than a value adder. Coming over here, this is a figs strap, so the strap is not in great condition. But ignoring the Rey Mysterio, which might be a legit autograph, it is hard to say. Um, I do have some legit ones I can compare it to, but I'm honestly probably just going to remove it and get. Um, get them in person myself uh, coming over here it's actually a really nice design I like the stamping right there of course like all the other figs belts you have the WWE going all the way around going to that first plate it's actually pretty cool looking you got the ring kind of looks like fire underneath uh, the strap the um, plates are definitely not in the best condition but this belt is pretty old uh, this one you have the WWE. I do like how it looks like the plates could actually go right into each other, which I thought was a really nice touch. Going over here, I, I don't know why I've always loved this main plate, the WWE. It just looks so classic look to it, which I really, really liked. Uh, just like any other figs belt, the name plate is removable, so you could put on a name plate if you wanted to. Coming over here to the other W. And there, but yeah, one thing about this belt is it's one of my favorite belts when I first started watching wrestling, and I just wish they did more with it. Even when Hornswoggle had it, I thought they still had fun with the title, but definitely made the title more of a joke. Coming over here, you have the property of WWE. I will say overall, you can definitely tell this is a cruiserweight belt. It is a very small belt. Um, I can't imagine what the kids version of this title looks like because this one is definitely not the biggest belt let's flip this bad boy over coming over here you got your snap boxes coming over. i always love the gold screws i kind of wish wwe does the gold screws but no this is more of a, a figs look to it these two are the ones you'd remove for your nameplate and this is what i'm talking about when i say figs it's a figures toy company um belt like that's basically what it's called they do still make belts for ring of honor and other companies but they have not made a wwe belt in a very long time this belt is 21 years old this replica so yes it, it definitely has some age and you can tell with the wear and tear it was definitely not taken care of it was definitely folded up like this in a cabinet you can tell because of the bubbling on the strap if you keep your straps nicely laid flat you'll never get that bubbling ever uh, i hate buying belts secondhand because a lot of guys like to put it in a cabinet like that and it honestly just ruins the quality of the strap like this is this is bad 
but it is still nice to have it in my collection. Flip this bad boy back over. But yeah, as I was just saying, like you can see right here, the bubbling in the strap, that's from being folded. A lot of guys like to display their belts like that. Unless it's re-leathered or it has brand new leather on it, I would never do that. Um, definitely bubbles the strap. But besides that, this is it. Your WWE Cruiserweight Championship. Let me know who is your favorite Cruiserweight Champion.